Hello, I'm Matthew Richardson and welcome to The Whiteboard. On the show today, we're going to take a look at a guy who was elite on both feet, is an absolute ball magnet, loves to have a yap and is highly regarded at the Hawks. Let's break down the game of Hawthorne Premiership skipper Sam Mitchell. There's no doubt Sam Mitchell's number one ability is around the clearance and contested possession. We'll have a look at his build there, standing next to Daniel Rich. He is very strong through the body, but he is very short. He's got a low centre of gravity. I think that's a great trait to have, to be an elite on-baller and clearance machine like Sam is. One thing he always does around the stoppages is free his hands up as he's getting tackled. He then has the ability and the awareness to put the ball out into space and put his teammates into a better position in an uncontested situation so they can deliver the ball forward. He's always had the ability to not get tackled around the stoppages and most of the elite on ballers in the competition never go to ground. Let's take a look now at the pressure he puts on the opposition on the field. Being one of the number one on ballers in the competition these days means you have to get your hands dirty as well and Sam Mitchell certainly does that. He's number one at Hawthorne for tackles. Often if you're the number one midfielder and you are being tagged you can get away from this stuff a little bit because you're always trying to break the tag and think of how you're going to get your next possession but Sam doesn't do that. As we see here he chases down his Brisbane man and then has the ability a second effort to get the handball off. He's always been a leader in this area and he does all the polished stuff as well, but it's great to see him doing the one percenters. Let's focus on the way now that he always loves to have a chat. He's always loved to have a chat out on the field, Sammy Mitchell. He is a little bit of a pest, not in the Milne Ballantyde mould, but he certainly loves to have a chat. In these first few clips here, it's all about encouraging his teammates. And as a former captain, he's obviously always had great leadership ability. You can see him there making sure that his teammates are getting into the right position. He's not scared to have a chat to the umpire either, but he doesn't do it in a demonstrative way. So I don't feel like the umpires really get threatened by this at all. So therefore, he's not really giving away free kicks. He's probably just asking for an explanation of a free kick there. He does love having a chat to the opposition. On this day, he was tagged for most of the day by Andrew Rains. There's no doubt I've played with Rains. He, he loves to have a chat also. And you can see the two of them here going off at half time. Daniel Rich getting involved. Big Daniel Merritt getting there. And this started a little bit of a push and shove just before three quarter time. Let's have a look at an area of his game now that is quite topical at the moment. This has been a little bit of an issue this year in the AFL, players playing for free kicks. I wouldn't say Sam's doing that. He's just trying to milk one a little bit there. But being a tag player, he is always being held on to, so you can understand why. The free kick there with Andrew Rains, he did put a little bit extra sugar on that. You do have to be careful with that at the moment. The AFL is cracking down on it. The next element to look at is how good he is on either foot. This is an enormous strength to have as an AFL footballer. He is elite on his left and right foot, Sam Mitchell. I have it on good authority that as a junior, he was a left footer and practised on his right so much he came equally proficient. I actually thought he was a right footer, so it just shows you how good he is. Over the years, I think Leon Cameron and Darren Jarman are about the only ones better at being able to swing onto either side of their body. And it is such a strength to have because the opposition don't know which side to guard when you're on Sam Mitchell. Whatever side of the ground he's on, he can swing onto either foot and it just gives him that split second more time to be able to deliver the ball because he's not always trying to straighten up onto his preferred foot. Obviously he can do it with his hands as well. Most players can, but he's one of the elite handballers in the competition, Sam Mitchell. Although Sam is no longer the Hawthorne skipper, he continues to lead the way for his team. The 29-year-old is having another stellar season and will be a vital player if the Hawks are to progress deep into September. The Blues are Hawthorne's opponent this week. And if I was Brett Ratton, I probably wouldn't bother tagging Sam. Players of his type are nearly impossible to stop. Back your own midfielders head-to-head -head against him, perhaps with an Andrew Carazzo who wins a lot of the ball himself. Thanks for joining us. See you next week on The Whiteboard.